Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. How are you? Great. Thank you for having me. I will. I want to use uh, a talk with you about using uh, technology to get healthy. I think it's so important, and then the more tools we have, the more success we can have. That's right. Tech these days can really empower us to live a more well-rounded and healthy lifestyle. Okay. Give me some of the latest products that can get us in shape and help us stay in shape. So a great place to start is with a wearable fitness activity tracker. The latest from Fitbit is their Ulta HR, which means it has continuous heart rate monitoring. So whether you're going for a run or playing a game of tennis this summer, it'll automatically detect that activity, record it, and uh, help you meet your goals that way. And then from Samsung is their Gear S3, which is a premium smartwatch with tons of cool features like uh, apps and notifications and calls, but the health and fitness features on that device have gotten so advanced, even doctors are using them to check vitals and employers are using them in their corporate wellness programs. And if you want to track your results and how you're doing with these new devices, weight isn't the only way to track that anymore. From Sculpt is their chisel device, which has, um, it's a small handheld device. It has sensors on the back and you just hold it up against your skin, directly on your skin, and it'll give you a body fat percentage and muscle quality reading. Those are great devices, but what should we be looking for when we're trying to buy a device rather than just price point? When you're thinking about buying a wearable device, you want to think about what your individual needs and goals are, and there's a wearable out there to help address those. For example, if you're a runner, from Digit Soul is their Run Profilers. It's an insole with sensors embedded, and it will track and analyze your stride and then give you feedback so you can improve your form. Or let's say you're one of the one in three Americans with hypertension from Omron is their Evolve blood pressure monitor, which is a clinically accurate medical device, and it will track your blood pressure over time. It's wireless, and you can share it directly with your doctor. You know, Danielle, getting in shape isn't just about working out. What else the technology is available to help us to get and stay healthy? That's exactly right. Tech can help us eat better, sleep better, and maintain an overall better sense of well-being these days. When it comes to food, there's a brand new feature called Snap It, and it's a part of the weight loss program called Lose It, and it's app-based, so you uh, to use the feature, you just take a picture of your food, which we're all doing these days anyways, and it will identify the food, give you the calorie count, the various nutritional information, and log it all there inside the app. Where can my audience go and find this information kind of put together so they can make a good and, and viable choice for themselves? Sure. So to see all this tech that helps you exercise, eat better, sleep better, uh, you can find it at the Consumer Technology Association's website, cta.tech. Danielle, thank you. This has been great. This is great information. It kind of cuts through the maze of things that are available for us. But we want to be healthy and we want to stay healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you.